Good morning. Good morning. We have just arrived in Prague, the wonderful city in the heart of Europe. And we are kind of lost. Yeah, you know the thing is, we don't want to hire any expensive tour guides or mess with boring tour books. So we are looking for some other options. Hello, here at Czech Technical University we are working on a cutting-edge application to let tourists uh, enjoy the sightseeing. It's called Prague Voice Interactive Guide. It utilizes GPS-enabled mobile phone. A user is walking through the city. On the scheme you see two kinds of buildings, red and white. The red represents tourist attractions. Once a user approaches the tourist attractions, related information is retrieved and presented to the user. Naturally, there are also distant tourist attractions, reachable by foot or public transportation. Both summary information and navigation instructions are available. Now, let's see it in action. Welcome to PBIG. Do you want to help? No. There are two tourist attractions nearby. Make your selection. Behind you on the right, Rajan, on the left, Prague Castle, or distant tourist attractions. Prague Castle. Do you mean the castle? Yes. Prague Castle is a castle in Prague where the kings of Bohemia, Holy Roman Emperors and Presidents of Czechoslovakia and the Czech Republic have had their offices. The Bohemian crown jewels are kept here. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Prague Castle is the largest coherent castle complex in the world with an area of almost 70,000 square meters, being 570 meters in length and an average of about 130 meters wide. Detail info is available. Make your selection. History, architectural styles of Prague Castle or credits. Another selection. Okay, distant attractions. There are three distant tourist attractions. Make your selection. On the left, St. Vitus Cathedral. On the right, Embassy of Germany in Prague. On the right, Malov Drana. Embassy of Germany. Okay, Embassy of Germany. Detail info is available. Summary information. Navigation instructions. Navigation instructions. Head southwest on Zonetske Stiers toward Rajongske Square. Walk 13 meters. Continue on to Kerabut Street. Walk 160 meters. There are five components that communicate over a mobile network and the internet. The user is equipped with a mobile phone with installed GPS client that sends their location to a central server. GPS is used to detect user's location. User interaction is based on speech that is transferred via the mobile network. The central server finds tourist attractions and performs speech recognition and synthesis. Information is retrieved from the web, Wikipedia for instance. The application offers easy to use voice interaction, but claims minimal requirements on user device. Server-side solution offers high quality service and enables fast deployment of future versions. Just give it a try.